Hey guys, Mr. B here, bringing you another lovely math video. This one on dividing powers. So this is one of your exponent laws that you've probably seen a lot. Um, and it can be a tricky one, of course, but um, here's an example. So we might have something like 5 to the 8 divided by 5 to the 6. So if you have something like this, you have a power on top and a power divided by a power on the bottom. And important to recognize they're the same base. So these exponent laws usually only work if they're the same base. So what we do in that case is we would subtract the exponent. So we would write it as just 5 to the 8 subtract 6. So we write it as one base and then we subtract our exponent. So 8 subtract 6 is 5 to the 2 and then 5 to the 2 is 25. So, um, really, your rule for dividing powers is to subtract, subtract exponents. Really important rule to remember, and it keeps coming back and back and back again, even to way higher levels of mathematics. So let's try a couple more examples. So let's try uh, one very similar to that. 2 to the 7 divided by 2 to the 4. So again, that'd be 2 to the 7, subtract 4. And you might not write this step, obviously, because you could do that in your head. And that's 2 to the 3, and then that's equal to 8. So your teacher might not necessarily require you to write out the actual evaluate how to do that. But you remember that 2 times 2 times 2 is the same as 2 to the 3. So that's what I'm doing mentally. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So why don't we do something with uh, variables? So let's try x to the 6 divided by x to the 2 so that's the same as x to the 6 subtract 4 and that's x to the 2 no sorry my apologies see my mistake already x to the 2 and that's x to the 4 I got ahead of myself so I put my 2 up here there we go that's better why don't we try one that's a little bit harder so there's a couple more steps involved why don't we try one like this? So x to the 7 times y to the 2 divided by x to the 3 and then uh, y to the 2. So in this case, again, we look for powers with the same base. So x is matched with x's. So 7 subtract 3. So I have x to the 4. So I just did that one without writing the steps. So 7 subtract 3 is 4. And then uh, y, so 2 subtract 2, so 2 subtract 2 is 0. And of course, you may, may or may not know that anything to the exponent 0 is 1, so really this is just equal to 4. You might also end up with something like this, x to the 2 over x to the 5. So in this case, you have your higher power on top. So we would still do the same thing, x to the 2 subtract 5, which is x to the negative 3. And really what we end up doing in that case is we take the reciprocal, because we have a negative exponent, and I have another video on negative exponents if you want to check that out. This is not a video on negative exponents. But anyway, I'll do this one, is we flip the base. So we take the reciprocal of the base, so the reciprocal of x is 1 over x, and then we make the exponent positive, so to the 3. And then we can simplify that because this, th this 3 can go to each one of these, so it can become 1 to the 3 over x to the 3, and of course 1 to the 3 is just 1 over x to the 3, just like that. So guys, I hope that explains the rules that when you're dividing powers, you subtract exponents. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in class.